This is Villa Kenworthy, and we're cutting spaghetti squash. <laughs> Just a reminder to everybody, I'm still doing the drawing once I reach 100 subscribers. The winner is going to receive a jar of this cherry balsamic sauce as well as a sample of my homemade steak seasoning. To be entered for the drawing, you must be a subscriber and send an email to villakenworthy at gmail.com with your name to be entered. Once I do the drawing, I'll contact you and then we'll get this mailed out. Please like, subscribe, and share. I'm Dennis. This is Villa Kenworthy. Today I'm going to show you the easiest way to cut spaghetti squash. So you have your spaghetti squash. They come in many different sizes. This is a pretty good size one. They do have a very tough outer edge to them and it makes it difficult for regular chef's knives to get through to them and that leads to a cutting hazard. Today I'm going to show you the proper tools to use and the easiest way to do it and keep yourself safer. Instead of using a regular chef's knife, I like to use a cleaver. I picked this up at Bed Bath & Beyond for around $20. It had a great edge and it's been working for me for about a year now with much success, haven't even had to sharpen it. The first thing I want to do is get the vine end off. I want to take and just kind of cut this cap off. So I take my cleaver and I get it started. I'm making sure to keep this hand clear. I don't want to take any chances on cutting it. And I'll get this started by just rocking it back and forth until I kind of have a nice cut line. And then I'm just going to pick the spaghetti squash up and I'm just going to use it and bounce that knife through it. My hands are my hands are completely away from it, so I don't have to worry about cutting myself. And then rock it back and forth. Not the perfect cut, but this right here will do the trick. Then you have to make a choice. If you want shorter strands of the spaghetti squash, you can cut it lengthways like this. I prefer the longer strands, so I'm going to cut it this way. Again, I'm going to take and I'm just going to get the edge of the blade into the squash keeping this hand clear just like that now i'm into the spaghetti squash i was able to keep myself safe and it wasn't that difficult i didn't have to hit it with a knife that hard but you do need the heavier steel to get through to it that's why i really enjoy using this cleaver You'll notice there's a bunch of seeds in here. You'll want to take a spoon and clean all of these out. My wife was nice enough to take the seeds that we got from our spaghetti squash earlier that we're going to use to make soup. She took through a little bit of olive oil on there, a little bit of salt, a little bit of onion powder, and she roasted them. They turned out great, so don't discard the seeds. Hold on to those, separate them, and clean them up, and then bake them for yourselves. They make a great snack. So in order to bake these, I just take this broiler pan and I'll set the spaghetti squash right down in it. I put a little bit of water inside the pan and I take and cover the squash and I'll bake them at 400 degrees. Uh, for these smaller ones, it goes about 35 minutes. For larger ones, it'll go 45 to 50 minutes. And you wanna bake those until they start to soften up. You just take a fork and you'll take it and pierce them. And if it's soft and goes through, you know you're good. You pull them out of the oven, let them cool off and then you can separate all the strands right out of the gourd and then use those for whatever your project's gonna be. Maybe we'll do a couple of recipes with these so I can show you how I cook with them. As you can see, cutting spaghetti squash is no big deal. Just make sure you use the right knife and keep your hands clear. If you have any other comments, please leave them below. Uh, if you have any ideas for me or a video that you wanna see that I haven't touched on or something more in depth, please leave a comment or ask the questions and I will get back to you as soon as possible.